Hi, I'm Tina, and this is the Elegoo Mars. The Elegoo Mars, a really nice, small, affordable 3D resin printer. Overall dimensions are roughly in a cube form, roughly an 8x8x16 tall. The build volume on a build plate is roughly is roughly 5 by 2 by 6. 6 being how high you'll be able to build. Its overall weight is about 11 pounds. Being that it's such a small printer, it can fit on just about any surface. When you first get your Elegoo Mars, unpack it and make sure that all the contents listed in the instruction manual are there. The contents should include the Mars 3D printer, a build platform, the resin tank, a USB 2 GB drive, a face mask, three sets of gloves, a plastic scraper, the instruction manual, 10 filtering funnels, a small measuring cup, some extra backup screws, a power adapter, and a small tool kit for any minor adjustments. The interesting thing about the Elegoo Mars, the power switch is on the back located right next to the USB port. Recently, I had a failed print, not in a way where prints fall off the bill plate, but where holes were being produced while the print was printing. This is caused when the LCD screen that normally allows the UV lights to penetrate your print, it fails, which is mainly known as dead spots. It's hard to see on one of these screens when you remove it. If you hold it up to the light, you should be able to see it. I easily removed my LCD screen so I can replace it. I can show you how I did that right now. When replacing the screen, make sure to unplug your printer first. This is the cable that plugs into the back, right near your power switch. Make sure it's unplugged. That way you don't accidentally turn it on when you're trying to fix this. Second, you're going to remove the cover, which will expose the build plate and where the LCD screen is. Now, I already removed my LCD screen, so it's going to look a little weird. This is the build plate. The build plate is what the resin sticks to as it's printing when the UV light penetrates it. You're going to remove this. A few spins of the knob loosens it up so it's no longer gripping. This is where the LCD screen sits. Here's the old one. The cable runs through the side and this sits right here just like this. On either side of the base there are two screws here and two on this side. There are four screws. Unscrew them, do not lose them. And carefully pull the front part away. Upon doing this, there'll be a cable. You're gonna have to disconnect the cable so you can remove the whole piece. This is the touch screen. So the LCD screen originally fed itself through here and connected to the sideboard on the side. This is the bad one. I'll set this here. I recently purchased a new screen. This particular one can work with the Elegoo Mars or the Anycubic Photon. You open this up, comes with replacement uh, heat stickies, an adapter if you need it, and there's the screen. I'll try and speed up the video now to install this just to make it faster.
like the LCD screen has been replaced, let's power it on and do a quick test to make sure that the screen is installed correctly and that it's not broken too. Turning it on will make the fan run. As you can probably hear. So let's do a quick test to make sure that the screen is working properly. As you can see, there are no black dead pixels. This test and replacement is a success. So now I can go back to printing. My preferred resin is this water washable resin. I really like the ceramic gray as it comes out really clean and makes it really easy to paint. Remember when working with resin, you want to protect yourself from the fumes. Always wear a mask, even if you're just going to pour this for a few seconds. reattach the build plate. Put the cover on. Select your print and then watch it print.